Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, we're at video two here. Um, first video wasn't much. Uh, all we did was that we installed uh, Ubuntu server through VMware, and unfortunately, VMware pretty much took over the whole installation. So we didn't get to actually see, like, you know, select your country and host name and all that. But I also, in the first video, showed you how to change your host name check your IP addresses um, so even if you're not happy with your host name you know just go and change it because as you can see mine says Paul at test proxy well before it said Paul at Ubuntu and you know it just wasn't real so I just decided to change the host name okay so what we're attempting in this video is just to install putty and set up SSH server just so that we can remote into our um, server I guess it's pointless for me to do it because I'm doing this through virtual machine so I have it where like I'm there's not an actual physical machine here but if you had like a physical machine once we do this once you guys watch this video here you can take your machine and put it anywhere you want in your house as long as it still has you know the internet connected and you'll be able to remote into it from uh, putty and that's a program I'm going to show you guys how to download right now so you just want to open up um, Internet Explorer or Google whichever one you guys choose to use and just go to Google okay and um, no sorry and just go to download putty as you can see it's already purpled for me I like to go right to the actual putty site and it's very straightforward you download putty here okay and this comes up plain website and you just want putty for windows so this one here you can scroll down and choose the one that's correct for your version of operating system Okay, so you just want to run it. So you just verifying the publisher here. So you run it again, and once you run it, it's pretty much installed. And you're gonna actually have to run it every time you open it. So once it's done, it's gonna give you like a little icon like this on your desktop. So what you want to do is. We just open it up and we'll set this up in just a second I first first off we need to install uh, open SSH on our server okay so we're at our server now as you can see and um, to get SSH it's just a simple sudo apt get install and then hit enter and then you know hit yes to confirm that you wanna use that space on your hard drive and it's gonna download now it's gonna set it up in later videos I'll show you how to secure your open SSH server just a little bit more you know just to uh, get to stop people from logging in as root in case your server ever gets hacked you don't want someone logging in as root that's just like logging into Windows with your admin, like that's full access. Okay, so um, now that it's installed, uh, we can test this now by doing a if config, looking at our inet address, which is right there at the second line, um, in the paragraph beside eth zero. So what you're going to want to do now is open up Putty. Okay, so I'm going to minimize Ubuntu server here. We're going to open up Putty. And the host name is going to be the IP address of your server. So 192.168.0.14 for me. And you can save this session. So I'm going to write, you know, test proxy. And just go save. So now I don't have to remember my password. I just got to click this, hit load. And it's ready. So now I just want to hit open. Okay, yes, just you can hit yes to this. 
All right, so now I want to log in as Paul and give it the password. And there we go. So now we're into Putty. It just, it's not much of a difference, guys, to you, but to me, being able to open up my screen and see things a little bit bigger makes a big difference. So, and you you also now know how to remote into your your server. So now at this point, you can uh, like go back to your server here. Let me just bring it back up. You can just go back to your server here and uh, exit. And just leave it at login and uh, go put it in a dusty closet and you, we can now work from putty from now on and do everything we want. So let's just do a uh, app get update. Sorry guys. Just to get some updates to see if there's anything for uh, the OpenSSH server we just installed. So that's done. Alright, so we want to give it a clear here. Um, what else did I want to do here? I thought there was something else. Alright, well, I guess that's nice, short, and sweet. So uh, that's it for this video. Thanks, guys.